Hey everyone, in this lesson we are going to be going over how to set up Unity for Android or iOS so that you can then create a game and build it to either your Android or iOS device. First of all, I'm here inside of the Unity Hub and what we need to do is make sure that we actually have the Android uh, or iOS components installed to our version of the Unity Editor. So, I'm going to click on the Installs button up here to go to where I have all the different versions of the engine uh, that are installed and I'm going to be using Unity 2019.1 uh, as long as you're using 2019 then building to Android you don't actually need to uh, download uh, the ex the external uh, Android SDK or anything like that it's all built into Unity already so all we need to do is once you have your version of Unity installed we need to click on these three little dots here and then select add component and what we want to do is we want to either select Android build support and the Android SDK and NDK tools and this is about uh, 4.8 gigs and this will install all the stuff we need in order to build to an Android device. Uh, otherwise if you want to build to an iOS device then you can just select the iOS build support down here. Um, but for now in this course I'm going to be going I'm going to be building to an Android device. So I'll be selecting the Android build support and Android SDK and NDK tools and then I'll just click on next here. And we can then click on I have read and agree with the above terms, click done, and it should then begin to install. Now inside of Unity there isn't really that many differences uh, that we'll be doing uh, depending on if you're building to Android or iOS. It's all relatively the um, exact same except for when we're actually building the project. Uh, for Android we're able to just build it directly to our device whereas with iOS you do have to um, build it and then go through and then build it again uh, inside of Xcode but if you're building to an iOS device we'll go over how to set up Xcode, how to set that all up and connect it to your device. Alright once it's finished installing we can just check to see if we have all the components added. Yep and it seems that I have Android build support uh, already installed or if you've done iOS build support uh, that will be installed as well. So what we can do now is create a new Unity project. So I'll click on the new button up here I'm going to enter in this as just mobile course. Uh, the Unity version, we want to use that 19.1 as that's where we installed our uh, Android component. And then we can just click create project and get inside of the editor. Alright, here we are inside of the Unity editor. Now what we need to do is convert our platform over to either Android or iOS. Now as you can see in the top of the screen here, it says we're in the PC, Mac and Linux standalone uh, platform inside of Unity. So to change that, we can go File, Build Settings, and here in the Build Settings, what we should see now is either the Android or iOS uh, platform here. So I'm just going to select Android and then click on the Switch Platform button. Now, depending on how large your existing project is, this could take some time, but since we are in a brand new project that's empty, uh, it happens almost instantly. So, now you can see at the top of the screen, it says Android. In the next lesson, we are going to be going over just setting up the editor a bit. We'll be adding in our folders, uh, importing some assets, and just setting up a little basic scene where we can start going over all the different touch inputs and gestures in future lessons. Uh, we'll also go over how to set up some different aspect ratios in the game view uh, to match whatever your device is. So I'll see you all in the next lesson.